Hi, good evening, class. We are from group project number six. I'm Julius here, and my teammate Yasin, Elvin, and Juliani. All right, in this assignment, we are tasked to do the uh, warehouse construction design for the uh, layout uh, for the company Harvey Norman. Uh, next, first of all, let me uh, begin with the uh, introduction of the company Harvey Norman. It's basically one of the uh, largest uh, retail shop for the uh, household appliances in Singapore, which carry many uh, well-known brands. For example, like Toshiba, LG, Electrolux, and etc. But in this project, we will only concentrate on a few, uh, few popular brands and will confine only to kitchen, cleaning, and laundry appliances. So for this Harvey Norman, it has 16 retail outlets in Singapore. And so for this warehouse, which we are designing, it's basically uh, serving as a DC center for this 16 outlets. Next, for the uh, factor consideration for the product characteristic, now will be uh, shaped by my teammate, Giuliani. Okay, before our team design the warehouse, Okay, uh, basically our team will come up with a product characteristic uh, of uh, product that we are choosing which is the kitchen appliances and laundry. So we have to come up with uh, seven characteristics that you can see from this slide. First is the product of shelf life, uh, of seven driver of the product. Uh, next will be material, probability of the inventory, majority, weight size and combo value. Out of these seven characteristics that we actually uh, chosen four elements that we think that is help us quite a lot in designing our warehouse. First will be this optional level. This actually determine how many SQ that you want to uh, carry in our warehouse and then weight and size actually will determine what type of ranking that you want to use is it 3 tier or uh, maybe more than that Next will be the cargo value Cargo value and the mobile inventory right, will help us determine what type of material equipment that you want to use in order to secure our uh, product uh, more, uh, more safe Next will be the kind of SQ that are passed to Yasi one of the main factors we will take into consideration when designing the warehouse layout is uh, there will be only bulky and popular items stored in our warehouse as Harvey Normal will store the small items in the outlet itself. We will focus on two categories. One is the cleaning laundry and the other one is the appliance, uh, kitchen appliance. Under cleaning laundry we will be vacuum cleaner, washing machine and under kitchen appliance will be dishwasher, hoods, oven, refrigerator, and wine chiller. Numbers of popular brands will be chosen for each category and numbers of modes will be models will be choose for each brand. Total there will be 124 SKUs in our warehouse. Next. After determining the product characteristics and SKU, we found it will be appropriate to use family classification and fixed store location as to have a clear view and help warehouse operator to for the picking and put away process. The product, product we are handling is bulky and we assume the goods will be received and released when you need a pallet. The product characteristics determine the turnover is very low. Thus, we decide to trick in the cargo accessibility against storage space. Double deep racking will be adopted in this case. After we determine the racking type, we will choose fork leaf, bridge truck, and pallet jack as the material handling equipment. Next will be the layout. Okay, so this is the Harvey Norman warehouse uh, design layout. As you can see, we actually designed this warehouse based on uh, 1 meter square per box. So, first, this is the racking for the warehouse design. We actually classify it into two zones. This is for the kitchen appliance zone and this for the washing and cleaning appliance. So as we, so uh, as mentioned by Yasin, we actually designed, uh, decide to use double deep storage method. And this method actually can help Harvey Norman to maximize their storage area, uh, storage space. And from this picture actually you can see that 
uh, we, decide, we decide to use a leveling method to level in uh, level on the every single rack to help the picker to pick the products. And the red line here is actually showing that the direction of the uh, material handling uh, equipment, which is the which truck to pick the uh, items from this direction. And we actually, due to the item that we store is actually bulky, so we, decide, uh, we assume that it, uh, they will only store the item based in terms of uh, one unit per pallet basis. So uh, due to safety uh, uh, to concern, we actually designed the police uh, charging area outside the warehouse. And this is the staging area, whereby it's actually uh, we merge into in, uh, we merge the incoming outgoing as a whole as because we think that the the goods of uh, the goods turnover is actually quite low, so we merge it in together. And this is the empty pallet storage area. And this mirror actually indicate the pedestrian walkway. For, in the, for, uh, for the whole warehouse. And this, because uh, Harvey Normal not only carry kitchen and washing appliance, they also carry other kind of products. So we assume that these are the area where she, they will store other uh, category. And for this grey area, we actually, it's a future extension zone for them to extend their business in order to serve other dis uh, distribution center. And this day, Legend <laughs> for this warehouse uh, layout. Uh, this is the task allocation in terms of our overview of this project. And that's all for the presentation. Thank you.